All right, so real quick video, guys. It's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, this one, this one here, I felt like I needed to make because um, I almost had a really big catastrophe the other day, and thank goodness I didn't. Uh, so I've got my wind generator here. This thing's already fallen down once. It was uh, due to some issues that I had with um, the structure just not being robust enough to handle the the stresses and I drove by the other day this thing's this tower's held up pretty well I've had some really high winds on it and I mean some tremendous high winds we've had 50 and 60 mile an hour winds this year and um, even had some this is actually hair from a cow had some cows rubbing up against this thing um, no no damage whatsoever has been done to it and but when I drove by the other day I noticed that this guy wire was really loose and it was right after a really nasty windstorm and I thought to myself I thought huh I wonder what's why that's so loose you know did it did it pull the anchor up I mean I got anchors that are four feet deep in the ground or did it you know uh, I mean, I, I didn't know what happened. Did, did, the, did the wire stretch or, or did, uh, what I actually thought had happened was one of these connectors had slipped. Um, that was a kind of a concern of mine. And, uh, but I thought, well, I need to inspect this. I need to figure out what's going on. So I came over here and I looked at this turnbuckle right here. This is the first thing I saw right away. And this thread was about halfway, only about half of it was left inside the turnbuckle here and I thought my god I immediately started to tighten it and uh but I just couldn't figure out you know like what happened did somebody come along and like loosen this thing up on me and after some thought I realized I think I know what happened now you see how this cable is twisted and this is important to know guys because you know this this turnbuckle looks like it would be like a flawless thing right because um, I actually added these if you notice there's wires here and That's what I've used on previous wind generators and it worked fine until um, Until I I put assembled this tower here and then I had a failure So I went with the cable on the top strand and with the turnbuckles um, Somebody had actually suggested doing that and so I did it um, and I was pretty satisfied with it. But this thing was hanging on only by a couple of threads. And I thought, my God. So after looking at this thing, I, you know, I realized, well, how could this thing just untwist itself, you know? And it, to understand like the physics behind what's taking place here or what took place, what I believe took place, um, we have to go like back to the, uh, the, the cable tool drilling rig. Because one of the things I noticed with the cable tool rig is that the, as the tool would go down and it would draw it up and it would go down, the tool would spin. And we had a, like a lot of discussion on what caused that tool to spin as it's going up and down. And I've got some videos of some cable tool drilling in, 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 you know, in, in my video collection. But, um, but we visited a guy, an old timer, an old veteran of the, of the well drilling community and he explained that the twist in the cable as it's under tension allows the thing to twist a little bit the tool the cable tool and it suddenly occurred to me this is what was taking place under strain this thing was twisting and it actually untwisted itself so um it just happened on this one side because I think this is the direction where I mainly get wind. Not only that, but these turnbuckles, for some odd reason, came twisted in, in different directions. And, um, or maybe the, perhaps, I mean, I haven't studied it well enough to know, but maybe maybe the, the cable was put in a certain direction. Well, it, it, it's worth looking into anyways, you know? Because um, if this cable was in the in the direction where it would try and tighten this thing, that would be the way to go. Um, but this one just happens to be in the direction that when it draws it, it wants to actually loosen it. You know, it wants to unscrew this 
this mechanism here so yeah i almost the tower almost went down just because of that one thing you know and uh easy enough to fix but i, I guess the ultimate solution is um i need to take this tower down sometime in the future and i'm going to put some lock nuts on the ends here and really cinch them down good um or or some safety wire you know you could put some safety wire here and then wrap it around um you know something along those lines uh but yeah who would have thought this looked like a foolproof setup to me but anyways hey thanks for watching my videos guys um be sure and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button um busy time of year i don't usually get a whole lot of videos out this time of year just trying to you know um get the propane tanks filled get the property taxes the you know the income taxes paid all that stuff it's just work 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 and there's not much time to do anything else so thanks for watching again um guys and uh we'll see you on the next one bye